I've got a very important question for you. You like jazz? <gasps> no, not that. Are you tired of juggling multiple different things while you're creating content or streaming? And maybe you've been wanting to get a stream deck, but you just can't justify the $150 it costs to get one. Well, then let me introduce you to the A Jazz Stream Dock. So I've been using this for a couple months now, and I'd have to say, with its limitations, I'm really impressed with it. So it's got 15 custom buttons that you can select for different sound bites, different scene changes in OBS, different keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. It's got a lot of the same features that the Stream Deck offers and as someone who's used the Stream Deck app on an iPad, it's pretty competitive I would say. I usually get mine set up to run anything on OBS for scene changes or sound alerts or anything like that as well as opening up different websites so if I wanted to just open YouTube and check out my stats and do all that kind of stuff, does it like that. Besides the 15 customizable buttons, it does have a customizable LCD screen on the side where you can put CPU status, internet speed, or even your local weather stat. The stand on the back is a 40 degree stand and it is also detachable and included comes a braided type C cable. Now, like I said before, I've been using this for a few months now because when I saw it pop up and that it was dramatically cheaper than the 15 button stream deck, I figured I might as well try it. Now the one preference that I have with this that I wish it did, even though it claims on the Amazon page and in the booklet you get with it, that it opens up application. I have tried and tried to get this to have a one button push to open up all my stuff for streaming and it doesn't do that. And if it does, I don't know how to do it and they don't do a very good job of explaining how that works. Besides that, the only other gripe I have is that it doesn't have integrations with an app called Pretzel Rocks, which is what I use for music when I'm streaming. And I've reached out to the company to let them know, hey, this would be a great thing to add to it. They got back to me and said, hey, we'll pass it on to our development team. So hopefully down the line, they do that. From switching scenes for live streaming or playing audio files just for comedic effect, or even just having hotkeys for when I'm playing video games. It works really, really well. Again, my only gripe with it is that I can't figure out how to get it to open applications even though it claims that it can do so. So if anyone has this and wants to let me know how to do that, that'd be great. But I, as of now, I can't figure it out. So I'm always trying to look for budget items and I think this definitely fits the mold on that one. I think it's a great item for anyone on a budget who doesn't really want to spend the $150 on a stream deck. But if you were hoping that this does everything, you might want to consider the Stream Deck, but overall, for my purposes, this works fantastic. So once you get the device, you can go ahead and download their personal software. If you've used the Stream Deck software from Elgato, this looks very similar. So you have your customizable 15 buttons right here in the center, and then on the right side, you have the LCD screen, which you can drag in different things to kind of check on your system or anything like that. On the right side, we have a bunch of the plugins. A lot of these are downloaded. I'll show you where to download those in a second but for example with the lcd screen if i go to weather quarry and i wanted to drag this on over it could then show me the stats of my area whether it's cloudy rainy or anything like that even shows me the temperature you can then change everything down here from the title the city that you want to read so if you wanted to have multiple cities that you travel to and what the weather is like there you could put that in there or you can change up the style from simple and modern to luxurious and gorgeous so with the stream doc, you do get up to six different customizable pages, but you can have multiple different profiles. And the cool thing about this is, is that it does let you change from profile to profile. All you have to do is set that up for a button. So if I wanted to go from the default scene that I have here to my editing one, I could just click a button and it's going to move me over. Now to get the rest of these plugins that you see here on the right, I'm going to go up to this little blue button in the top left. This screen is going to appear and it kind Kind of leads to the a jazz websites where they have a bunch of different keyboards and mice and stuff like that but what we're going to be looking at is the plugins over here on the left so once we do this and it loads up you can see there are a bunch of different options very similar to the stream deck so you could get a youtube live button that kind of gives you all the functionality for that if you use photoshop they have different options for their final cut pro for mac users all kinds of stuff i was really impressed with the number of items that they've had in here so again this is something you should look into if you're looking to have the functionality 
functionality of a stream deck on a budget. You could also customize with different icons. You can uh, download different packs that you can then upgrade to them. I actually like making my own because it's just a little bit more customizable, but if you don't want to go that route, you can definitely choose from their wide variety that they have available here. So this stream dock will work with Windows and Mac systems, and it has a wide variety of different plugins from video editing, productivity, photo editing, and stuff like that. So if this is something that you're looking into getting, I would take a look at this product. But if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my other tech videos in this playlist right here. But I'm gonna get on out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace guys.